Hey Virgo, um, here to do your weekend, Saturday and Sunday, love messages. Um, I had something came up yesterday. So I couldn't make your reading last night, but here we are, definitely getting it in. So yeah, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below um, here where I'm running a special. And if you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button. Yep, so this is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You don't have to be a Virgo Sun to listen. But yeah, Virgo, let's get into this reading. Okay, first card to pop out here. You have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection. Some of you falling in love over the weekend. Okay, very nice. So definitely going to be getting or giving some affection. Let's see. Definitely a lot of kisses. Now look. <laughs> Kisses could come from a lover. Kisses can come from the baby. Kisses can come from anyone. Um, of course, if they're wanted, then it's great. You also have dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding something out. Things are coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. So, wow, it looks to me like somebody, like you're going to find out something here, Virgo, that someone um, is falling in love with you. Okay, so we're going with romance, Virgo. Somebody is blowing you a kiss or blowing you kisses. Someone is crazy in love with you. Um, this is like a fluttering feeling of butterflies dra or dragonflies in the belly. Okay, goosebumps, all those tingles. This, this is what this feels like. Okay, maybe you're going to get a kiss from somebody and that's going to give you, um, yeah, we're not going to say butterflies in the belly. We're going to say dragonflies in the belly. It's just a really nice, lighthearted feeling. Okay, some flirting as well. Okay, so Virgo, let's get into your message a little bit deeper and see who this person is. Who are you going to get kisses from, Virgo, over this weekend? Who is Virgo getting kisses from over this weekend? I'm so excited for you, Virgo. Let me see. Oh, well, of course. Of course. Now it's the Queen of Swords. Okay, for some of you, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um which is very strange this person is going to be really sweet on you now okay it doesn't absolutely have to be an air sign but it is someone who is going to be very clear could be a libra um that they like very truthful like coming right out with it there's no holding back from this person over this weekend that they want to smooch uh, that they're, they're gaining feelings for you and they want to connect they want to be with you oh my gosh all right virgo let me see tell me what else it's definitely going to be some communication or this person is going to initiate communication first because the queen of swords holds that one big sword wow okay oh my gosh i have the queen of cups so again you know it's energy male or female energy but virgo mm. <laughs> Some of you got a little something, something going on with a couple people here, Virgo. A lot of flirtatious energy, water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, so yeah, this is Virgo. <laughs> yeah, Virgo. Um, you either have uh, it's you and it's a same sex relationship, or it is uh, two separate or like two other people. Wow, there's a lot of communication. Let me see, tell me what's going on here with this Queen of Swords and this Queen of Cups. Okay. Do these two know each other? Uh, talking about you, Virgo, these two people, um, they're having conversation about you somehow, some way, or they know each other and they're talking, they're talking about you. Okay. And like, oh yeah, did you see what he or she was wearing the other day? Like, what are we, in high school? Did you see the picture? Um, like, there's conversation. It could be two friends, Virgo, as well. You could have two friends over the weekend, that you're, a couple friends that you're talking about, okay, or talking with about somebody also. All right, now, just let me get, because whenever we have two queens or two court cards, two kings, whichever, just th that means that there's like something going on here. All right, let me see. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's definitely communication at work. Um, or there's two people who are talking about you in connection to your work. Okay. 
Virgo, I just feel like you have a couple suitors here over the weekend, and they're connected to your their work, or there's two people, other people, or some friends are going to be telling you about someone over this weekend that somebody's like falling in love with you. Oh my gosh, three of cups. I mean, this is how it's playing out. Okay, it could be at school, it could be connected to... Um, like if you're taking some kind of class as well, it could be. So it's a lot of pentacle energy. There's definitely communication. It feels mostly like Virgo. You're going to find out over this weekend that someone is like crazy sweet on you, very interested on you, in, in, in you. And maybe you already found this out or this has already happened. But the Three of Cups here, this is also connected to friendship or a, a group of people around you who are kind of like, who is the person that, okay, so it could be a water sign, it could be an air sign, it could be, yeah, it's water or air, that's what's showing up here, could be earth, could be earth as well, that somebody maybe younger or is kind of young-ish, maybe they have dark hair, they've been looking at you or looking for you, maybe the past week, or it will be the following week at, at your work. This person um, kind of has you on like they're like a like a pedestal. Look, they also have muscles. Okay, look at them guns on somebody here. Okay, <laughs> or they're just built really well. Maybe they work out or something, or maybe it's you. And I, yeah, I don't, Virgo, like I'm. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Maybe it was good that I waited because the last reading I did was like, get the, what the heck's going on? So there's definitely going to be like a dating opportunity or a getting together over the weekend, or you're going to get asked out or uh, through friends, another friend is good. Like we're in high school, like, okay, tell, tell him or her that I'm interested. Tell them like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's cute, but it's like, I mean, you know, unless you're 13 and sometimes I'm 13 here on my channel. Okay. I get it. But it just kind of feels like, um, Somebody wants, like, they're thinking about asking you out, and they want to connect on you. They're just, they want to kiss. There's, like, a, a strong attraction here with somebody. Okay, yeah, and they've been hiding it. Like, you're going to find out about this over the weekend. <laughs> Virgo, they're trying to find out if you are interested in them. Like, in more than <clears throat> just friends, or if you would like to connect with them, there's a whole lot of gossip. There's a whole lot of talk going on in regards to you and another person. It might even be a setup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whenever I start talking, I always get, like start. Might have to clear my voice. There's something here about like somebody or a friend or two people are talking, and it's like, okay, you know, uh, I'll set it up. I'll connect with Virgo and let Virgo know. Okay, it, it just yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. See, I can't with this. Like, yeah, they just keep telling me. They just keep telling me, Virgo, that there is like Cupid's arrows coming in. I'm not even kidding, Virgo. Travel. Good news. Communication you're going to be receiving from. It feels like either the per like, so for a small amount of you, the person will directly talk to you, but there is involvement with other people. Okay. Like I said, they could be family, friends, it could be work people, people they are at school with, you know, um, whatever it is, whatever, you know, wherever you have those close people around you. Uh, there, there's somebody who wants to come see you, Virgo, somebody wants to connect with you. Um, and it, it's going to happen very quickly. Like, I feel like it's going to, oh my gosh, I can't. For once, 11-11, soulmate energy. Absolutely. Um somebody's interested in having even this it's like you two are made for each other because Virgo we've got like you see those the wands there that's the 11 11 there and then sideways we have eight wands so 11 11 11 11 like this person is seeing those numbers this two you've been seeing them and this other person is seeing them could be a fire sign so it feels like yeah oh my gosh i can't even believe this ace of cups 
Now, the King of Cups, okay, there's definitely a new love start. There's somebody who has very deep feelings, like their cup runneth over for you, Virgo. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, like I said, like pretty much all the signs are on the table here, but I definitely feel like you're going to hear about someone being interested in you from a third party or, or a friend. Um, I feel like I also feel like you ha you're generating some interest from romantic partners going forward, but somebody definitely comes forward. Somebody definitely comes forward. Okay, will it like actually come forward and complete over the weekend? Maybe, maybe not. There might be a con look at that. I can't even believe this reading. I love it so much. There's definitely a connection being made. Okay, let's go have drinks. Let's go have dinner. Let's go meet at the park. Let's do this. Let's do that. You know, and somebody dressing up like real nice to connect. Two of cups here. Single and, and, and two people who are single. It's an energy of being solo and being together and connecting together. Yes. Can it happen over the weekend? Absolutely. There's a date or there's a connection being made over the weekend. It's It could be, like I said, for some of you, this setup, you might hear from someone who's close to you that says, hey, I have this friend and they saw your picture and I've been kind of talking about you and they're really interested in you. And they would like to know if you want to connect or they can have your phone number. It's that kind of energy playing out. There's definitely, um, or you got two friends that are like, look, we're going to, we want you to meet this person. Okay. So there's definitely <laughs> like butterflies. I feel like, or dragonflies. I feel like you're, when you guys connect, um, it won't be too far from home either. I feel like if there's a date, you guys won't be too far from home. Like it'll be maybe a little bit on the outskirts of town or something, um, or this person flies in, or you're flying into their place, you know. Um, it could be like, some of you might have like a date at, at an airport, which is bizarre. Okay, so I mean, Marco, it's very romantic. It's like a very romantic, stimulating butterfly kind of kisses falling in love energy it's 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 just the feel good feels um and it's just a start because the ace of cups you know that's a potential start you go from the ace to the two and then it's like okay we are we're feeling the love energy some of you are feeling that you know it's coming and you've been picking up the vibes you've been trying to manifest love and here you make a connection with someone over this weekend i love it it's very beautiful this weekend is february 4th and the 5th okay yeah and some of you have this oh oh sorry you guys sorry 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 um yeah, so some of you um, have ended something, okay? Something ended in your past, right? And I guess I should feel the need to say this because it's showing up. Something ended in your past, a struggle relationship, a struggle love kind of thing, Ten of Swords energy there, like it's just either there was betrayal or there was just an energy of something was done and it wasn't going to, you know, like it ended. It was just coming to the end. It was... A relationship that just felt completely lanced of all the love that infection that was left it was it became cold there might have been abandonment um, or just a feeling of like oh it's just so cold here and it just I mean look at these two cards you know what I mean it's just like something the balloon popped deflated and then like after that it's like okay you know standing there Virgo and looking out on the horizon and saying you know the balloon might have might have popped but it doesn't mean we can't blow up more balloons so I kind of feel like your energy here um and going and which is why you're in this which is why this is coming to you there's like new love on the horizon and here's the horizon Virgo you know that three of wands energy is like you know I'm expanding you know, I'm not going to just stay down. Let me get back up and see if there's any other options. See what, you know, putting things out there and, and waiting for your ships to return. You know, so I definitely feel like whatever has ended in the past ended because 
it just did i don't know if there's a reconciliation or something new to come in i mean this is just a snapshot for the weekend a snapshot of love but i definitely feel like um there's going to be somebody new coming in definitely connecting does that mean it's going to turn into a long term i don't know but i can tell you um there won't be a feeling of being left out in the cold some there's jeff definitely somebody who is tremendously interested in you here oh gosh there is so much my phone's ringing my irobot thing is going off i can't even believe it look at that knight of wands passion 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 lust physical attraction oh my gosh virgo i think you're going to be very surprised by this coming in now of course it could happen next week as well but we're picking up this energy for the weekend and look there's you somebody very physically attracted to you some of you maybe you're on dating sites which i don't recommend however you do what you need to do some of you um might be on them or it's just somebody tells you or you're checking i feel like some of you when you find out that about this person you're gonna like check them out online see if they have like a social media or something tell me more oh who are they let me see their picture um yeah definitely <laughs> are you kidding okay so i was saying is this going to turn into something well it is possible the pot the potential is definitely there for this to be a long-termer uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy can turn into marriage as well. The Hierophant. This is like, um, hmm. This feels like a relationship that is built on integrity, right? It, it's like both people come in with this. Um, it's like an energy of respect and tradition. Do you know what I mean? So that gives me a sense like this person or you, you both match in that way, have very traditional values or traditional background. And that might be something also that you're looking for, you know, um, trying to find out. Some of you might be looking online after you connect with this person to see like what they're about, if you can find any information, you know, if this person is um, just kind of a like a, a hot mess i think some of you want to know somebody's a hot mess you know what you're looking for and there's a magician energy there's a gemini energy there and let me see what is this person okay oh okay some of you i do f all right crazy i feel like you'll probably be checking to see if they have like if they're if they're showing any signs of um being single <laughs> they're showing any signs of being single or if they're showing anything on social media where they're bitter and jaded okay um I, that's a big red flag i think if you see something like that it's like okay yeah but if someone's still bitter and jaded and taken like all over social media about that um they're still angry they haven't finished their healing process yada yada but anyway virgo this looks really good okay so it definitely feels like a new kind of love thing. Let me see if I can get a Chinese sign for this person. What is the Chinese sign for this person for Virgo or Virgo's Chinese sign? It could be you, it could be them, it could be both of you or none. So, you know, however it resonates, let it resonate. Okay, so we have a year of the ox. I feel like that popped out yesterday, like the first yesterday, the first one. Okay, year of the rooster. All right, we've got Year of the Monkey. What else? Year of the Horse. Okay, you have Year of the Dog. Year of the Dragon. We have the Dog again, so I'm not going to pull that again. Okay, you have the Tiger. And Monkey again. Maybe it's two monkeys. That's bananas and year of the rat. Okay, beautiful. Um, let me see. Now you guys also understand that certain si certain Chinese signs, um, certain Chinese signs go with 
other Chinese signs, okay? So if you go on to Google and you look up your Chinese sign, figure out your year and your month of birth, and then go on Google and look up your Chinese sign, you can see who you're most compatible with, and then look at who we had here, okay? to see if this will be an easy kind of relationship. Ox, rooster, monkey, horse, rat, tiger, dragon, dog, okay? So you will vibe with two other, possibly three other Chinese signs, the best. All right, so I always say like, I should start a dating site where it's based on person sun signs and their, and their um, Chinese signs because I think I could like be such a good matchmaker for that um all right let me see let me just get some charms for you guys and um and we'll get going yeah this is going to be a quickie because I wanted to get this up as soon as I could for you guys okay so wow awesome so you have a horseshoe okay so basically somebody's going to get lucky <laughs> Or somebody's getting lucky. Maybe you do something with horses or you have a horseshoe or something to do with horseshoes. Maybe you have a horseshoe charm. Okay. I love the symbolism. All right. What's this? Oh, you also have... Wow. Hold on, you guys. I want to show it to you. Okay. A squid or an octopus. Squid or an octopus? So I don't know. Do you do something with squids or octopus? Tentacles? <laughs> Tentacles? Pentacles? Okay. Some sea creature energy happening right here. Maybe you live by the sea or somebody lives, you know, close to the ocean. All right. You also have a four-leaf clover. Wow. I mean, you're getting so much symbolism here. All right. Somebody might... There's just an energy of a lot of luck. <laughs> There's a lot of luck, like somebody's getting lucky this weekend, Virgo. But okay, somebody could be of Irish descent or from Ireland. Oh, Virgo, I love these. I love when you get the horseshoe. Maybe you're going to just be dating a leprechaun or something along those lines. And also, hmm. You have a four stringed instrument. It could be a guitar or a bass or a violin or a cello. Here, can you see it? Okay, so maybe somebody plays an instrument, does something with music. Okay, this person, you might find out. Give me a second here. Oh, uh, they might like, um, they might like a team that has something to do with um, horseshoes, or they might, and then, okay, that's weird. They're just telling me. All right, they're just saying lucky charms. Lucky charms. Uh, something about lucky charms. I'm just picking up somebody. Um, I don't know if it's that specific type, but somebody likes to eat cold, crunchy cereal in the morning. They always has cold, crunchy cere uh, cereal in the morning it like some people wake up and they have yogurt or they have fruit <laughs> you know or maybe like um i don't know a smoothie or you know some oatmeal this person is a five-year-old <laughs> it's a little like a seinfeld thing like jerry Seinfeld, like just always eats cold crunchy cereal really like that's the first thing you'll you, you might i don't know they tell you about it or you find out about that okay and um hold on i'm going to see if there's more messages coming here Okay, somebody likes chocolate-covered cherries or chocolate-covered fruit, strawberries, perhaps. It's a food thing happening here. Oh, okay. And, yeah, it's a food thing. And I know there's always food stuff going on in the chat here, you guys. So it's this is – I'm also picking up um, seafood, maybe octopus or oysters or mussels. There's something I, I don't even know that I'm just seeing also um, a mariachi band like going out to eat and there's like people playing music at your table. <laughs> what the heck is going on? This is sounds like it's very delicate or 
not delicate. What's the word? Deli- what's the word? Those delicacies and romantic and physical pleasure and just this is not a typical this is not this does not feel like a typical date where you you know you both like just meet for coffee and then you go get some tacos this this feels like an energy of something extremely romantic and a sweeping off the feet like you'll be you'll be swept off your feet or that this person enjoys that and there's music and and really specialty foods but they but somebody also <laughs> is eating cereal in the morning i just don't even get it it's so bizarre um I, virgo i'm just gonna leave it there because it is the weirdest message it's it's like it's, it's like a person with two energies you know what i mean like I don't know, like by day I'm Clark Kent and then at night I'm Superman. Like it's what the heck is going on? The weirdest messages. I don't know. Thank God the comments aren't open because I know you guys will be leaving some crazy stuff. And I'll be opening those comments again very soon. I just can't right now because so many people are getting scammed and I feel awful that that's happening to you guys. And that's my way of protecting you. Like, you know, sugar mama bear here, just protecting you guys. You leave a comment and a lot of people don't know. And then those scammers come in and drop my name and a WhatsApp. And then you guys reach out because you're new and you don't realize it. And those people um, are taking you for all your money. The link to book with me is in the description box below. I am never, ever, ever, ever going to go into the comments and reply to you and tell you, book a reading with me. I'm never going to send a link to you or a WhatsApp number, ever. The only way to get a reading from me is you got to go in the description box below here, link to my, I have two websites, One, either one is fine, link to those, click on it and then you could book with me through there, okay? Um, so for now, we're staying comment free. Um, all right, Virgo. Well, I hope that you guys have a really great weekend. I hope that something plays out here for you. And um, I'm going to be back here. You know what, you guys? Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be back on Sunday. Sunday night. I'll try. I have something um, that I have to take care of on Monday, um, but it's going to start Sunday. So um, I will try to be back here if you don't. I'm trying to get the shorts up over the weekend, but you know, just keep your eye out. If your notification bell is ticked and you're alerted and you're, you're subscribed, then when my video premieres, you'll know I'm there. If it doesn't, you'll know why. All right, you guys. So I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great weekend. Okay.